that's going to be us. Okay, so in this question here, we're looking at, once again, graph interpretation. So it says, sketch below are the graphs of g of x and h of x. And we are given that g of x is equal to b to the x plus c, b to the x plus c. And there's it here. And h of x equals to k over x. A, the point of intersection of g is... 1 and 1. So we're given the point of intersection of the two graphs and there's it there. Okay, so what's g of x? g of x is an exponential function and h of x is a, what is that? It's a hyperbola. Mm. Right? So we have, it says you use the graphs and the information above to answer the following. Write down the values of k, c and b. I hope you can see that. k, c and b. Okay, so this is question 6.1. So let's look at our graph and let's look at the values. So K, C and B. So at this point, whenever we want to solve variables in a function, we must look for a point which lies on the function. All right. So A lies on both G and H. Can you see that? A lies both on G and H. So we can just substitute A into so we can substitute a 1 and 1 in let's look at our first function there h of x so if we substitute there we'll get 1 equals to k over 1 therefore k equals to 1 okay now the next one that we have is for g of x right so if we look at that now we can see that for g of x equals to b to the x plus c. Now, if we just substitute 1 here, 1 and 1, remember that if we substitute 1 there and 1 there, we're going to still have two unknowns, which will be uh, b and c. All right? However, if you look carefully, you'll see that for g, there is another coordinate that is given to us, which is the y-intercept. Okay? And that is between... 1 and 2. Okay, so it's a little bit bloody, but it's between 1 and 2. So that'll be what? 1, 5. So the y-intercept is 1, 5. So we've got two coordinates. So we've got the y-intercept and we've got k, 1 and 1. So let us substitute our y-intercept first. So we say the y-intercept, which is 0 and 1.5. So we can write 1.5 as 3 over 2. So we'll get the following. We'll say 3 over 2 equals to b to the 0 plus c. Now if you look carefully, 3 over 2 equals to b to the 0 is 1 plus c. Therefore, c equals to 3 over 2 minus 1 equals to 3 over 2 minus 1 will be 2 over 2. Or you can just simply put that in your calculator and you'll get half. So C is equal to half. Now let us solve for B. So now that we know the value of C equals to half, let us substitute now our next value, which is A1 and 1, or coordinate, I should say. So we're going to get 1 equals to b to the 1 plus half, right? So we are substituting the half that we just found in our previous calculation. So therefore, b is going to equal to 1 minus half, which is equal to half. So quickly recap, we must look for a point which lies on our functions. And in this case, we got A, 1 and 1. And we got on G, we got two coordinates. We got A and we got the Y-intercept. So we got 0 and 1.5. Okay? So just remember that when you are substituting into exponential function, just make sure that you substitute the Y-intercept first. Okay? Right. Now let's look at the next question. It says here, write down the equation of the asymptote of G. 
the equation of the asymptote of G. What is an asymptote? An asymptote is an imaginary line that our graph goes close to but does not touch. And we just solved for that in our previous question. The value for C is? Is equal to? The value for C, there's it here, is equal to? Half. So therefore, the answer for 6.2, my asymptote, the equation will be y equals to half. Now let's just quickly recap. An exponential function, an exponential function has only one asymptote, a horizontal asymptote. So that is why it's in the form y equals to a value. So that value is equal to half. And it is that whatever that value is, the C value, okay? So, let's now look at 6.3. Write down the domain 